So, hello. Um, welcome hello. to another fresh interview for Fresh Off The Stalls. I'm on at the Red at, at the Lost Fiat again uh, at what seems to be now sort of uh, a sort of red couch that we seem to have acquired, which I think is quite classy. <laughs> and uh, I think it's you know I think it's classy, especially as I'm joined here by Stephen Oxley, who has is involved in this year's festival uh, and was also involved in last year's festival and is probably better known for his work. Um, up the, the, the life and times, no, I can't. The remember. life and opinions of Tristram Shen. Yes, and a rather uh, fantastic piece of solo theatre that was. So let's talk about that. Let's go back a year, talk about you reviving uh, after, how many years was it since you uh, performed it before last year? That's uh, since you performed it since last year. Uh, it was uh, 14 years. 15 years. Yeah. So how did it feel, uh, 15 years, bringing that piece back? Well, I was surprised at how it came back to life, actually, um, and how easy it was, in general, to recall it and mm-hmm. re-perform it. But it, it felt different. It, I felt more... The character grown towards me more, if that makes sense. Okay. Uh, he needed to be older, in other words. And... Uh, that certain amount of maturity that I'd experienced in the intervening 15 years was helpful. It was ti- It was more tiring, perhaps, than I remember doing it. Because it's quite long, mm. and it's a solo piece, um, and it requires quite a lot of energy to, to make it work, and make it be funny. Um, yeah, but it was, it was a great experience doing it. Mm. But it, it's kind of made me feel... Because uh, I, I think I probably did... Um, Five performances last year, and I did a revival of it at the Lost, uh, not the Lost Theatre, this Lost Theatre, at the St James's Theatre, mm-hmm. and did a week there this year, back in June. And uh, I, I kind of think I've done it now. But I want to do other things, but it was nice to bring it back and know that it was still there and possible. Would you would you have um, uh, brought Tristram Shandy back to life if it wasn't for the festival? No, it was because of Colin that mm-hmm. I did it. Colin Watkins emailed me and rang me, and I said, "No, I can't do that. I, uh, I, no, it's too far in the past." And uh, but he persuaded me, and uh, I'm glad I did. And uh, so I found a, a new director. Um, we worked over it for a period of about three months before part time at weekends, and uh, got it ready. Fabulous. Well, I must say that I, I was I absolutely um, I absolutely loved the piece when you did it last year. And it was really went really well in this space as mm. well. I, I like the theatre and I like the way that, even though it's quite a spacious theatre and quite a capacious theatre, there's a sense of intimacy mm. as well, which I think worked for that show because you can directly speak to the audience and you know. Well, marvelous. So, um, so it, it, uh, I, I think it's great as well. But after the um, after the festival. Justin Shandy went on for uh, even more success uh, at the St. James. So now, uh, several months on from the St. James, you're involved in Adult Child, Dead Child. Yes. Uh, so tell me uh, what, what's that, what that's like and what that means to you being involved in that this year. Well, it's, it's really enjoyable actually and interesting. One of the things that I've often wondered about Tristan Shandy is what it sounds like being, would sound like being done by another actor. And, and when I say that I... I don't think I'll do it again. I'd, I'd love it if somebody else did, did it, just to hear it. And the way that Colin has directed Adult T- Child, Dead Child, which was originally a monologue, if you like, mm-hmm. or a solo show, um, is that we've got different actors playing the same person, although it's not the same person. So they're the same voice, but different voices. Mm-hmm. Uh, I find that wonderful. I'm doing the voice in between, which is this is a static poet. It's the, the, they're what Claire Dowie, the author, describes as the poems in the piece. And so I'm reading those in between the acted bits. And it's rather nice to be involved, I must say. Very talented cast. And, uh, I'm, I'm enjoying seeing how different people bring the same character to life in their own way. So it has equal truth for each performance, but a different nuance and feeling to it gives you a sense of one whole person which is I think really interesting and unusual oh, well, I'm certainly looking forward to it um, I am just certainly looking forward to it I, I don't know why I led with that going somewhere where there wasn't much more to say so um, 
What's next for you? What's next for you after this festival? Is there anything uh, in the pipeline for um, you and Solo Theatre? No, well there is, but it's something that I haven't, I've really been thinking about a lot, almost well, for the last 15 years, which is to adapt a, a book called The Anatomy of Melancholy and do that as a solo piece or perhaps a piece for two people. Um, and that's the next thing I'm going to get on to, but at the moment I'm writing a play about Lottie Lenya. Ah. who was a singer and was married to the composer called Kurkweil. Um, so I've written this play, it's nearly done, and uh, I'm going to show it to a few people, including Colin, and see what they think about it. And uh, Maybe we'll get that put on. Marvellous. Well, thank you very much for your time. So, uh, just as a recap, uh, Stephen Oxy is going to be involved in Adult Child, Dead Child, like everyone else I seem to have interviewed this evening, which is quite exciting. Uh, three down, just four to go, I suppose. Um, and that's going on on Monday, the 6th of October. But by all means, come down to the rest of the festival, which runs from the 6th to the 11th. And there's some absolutely fantastic things. Uh, you've missed Tristan Shandy last year, and shame on you for doing that. But do come down to see some of the uh, excellent things that are going on, and to see uh, Mr. Stephen Oxley, um, no doubt, excelling again. <laughs> I think I should go. I think I'm embarrassed in a little. Anyway, thanks a lot, and we'll see you for my next interview. Thank you.